Hi, this is Rez Gaming, and welcome to the new player guide for Onigiri. Onigiri is an action MMO game using Japanese mythology as its backstory. If you are familiar with games like Okami or Mystical Ninja, you may find yourself facing familiar names and creatures. There are five starting classes in Onigiri. Power, Defensive, Cautious, Kind, and Daring. Pick a role you enjoy, or make one of each if you can't decide. As you gain levels, you are given the ability to add points to your stats. Each stat provides different benefits and can change your character's playstyle. There is Power, Vitality, Wisdom, Mind, and Dexterity. Power increases your Physical Attack, HP, and Sword, Odachi, and Battle Axe proficiency. Vitality increases your Health, Physical Defense, and Spear proficiency. Wisdom increases your SP, its Recovery, and Wand proficiency. Mind slightly increases in SP, in addition to physical and magical defense and stat proficiency. Dex doesn't show any visible stat changes, but it increases your critical hit damage, percentage, and bow and twin sword proficiency. There are 8 types of weapons. Weapons can be used by anyone regardless of class, but are more beneficial with its primary stat. Each weapon has a set durability, which can be repaired by Yoshitsune, except those with low durability like these. In dungeons, you will find weapons with question marks, alongside with a color grade, bronze, silver, and gold. You can identify these weapons by talking with Lady Shizuka, using them to enhance your current weapon, or sell them back at a lower price. Skills are assigned to you based on your weapon that can be easily comboed from your regular attack. As you use them, they level up and get stronger. Their ranking determines the maximum level it can reach. For example, Cursed Arrow has rank 3, which means its maximum level is level 30. So that means Void Slash's maximum level is level 10, and Lunch Steps' max is level 20. These can be increased by smelting. Throughout your playthrough, you will encounter different companions. Though they do not do much damage, they can distract enemies and finish them off. Each one offers different benefits and will give you more depending on how much affection they have with you. You can increase their affection by using items you find. Most importantly, have fun and just enjoy the little pieces this game has to offer. Be on the lookout for dungeon guides, quest guides, and other tips and tricks for Onigiri on this channel. If you have any other suggestions for new players, leave a comment below. This is Res Gaming. have an awesome day.